This is Bo Deshawn here. So today we're going to be learning all about the types of chemical reactions and I'm going to show you this with Crocs and all these bright vibrant colors that people are wearing and they're swapping shoes so they have two different colors on at the same time. Um, it's going to make it really easy to learn our types of reactions. So let's get into it. The first one is going to be synthesis which just is when two reactants interact to form one product. Um, now this may be confusing to you, so let's use some Crocs and figure this one out. If you look at this, we're gonna start off with a pink Croc plus a blue Croc, and we're gonna equal a blue and a pink Croc together, okay? Now, if we're looking at this chemically, we can go ahead and say the pink Croc is representing sodium, the blue Croc is representing chlorine, and then we are gonna yield um, the chemical reaction is going to turn into sodium chloride, okay, or just table salt, right? And that's when they form together. So we took two simple reactants and we formed one compound. Um, let's go ahead and look at our next one. Decomposition. In decomposition, you guys, it sounds exactly like what it means, like to decompose. Decompose means to take apart, right? Or to break apart. And that's exactly what we're doing here. This is pretty much the opposite of synthesis. So it's reactants break down into simpler components. And let's go ahead and look at our crocs. So we have a blue and a pink croc starting out together. And we're going to yield a blue and a pink croc separate now, right? So they were together in a big component and now we're breaking them down into smaller pieces or um, apart from one another. So if you look at our chemical reaction underneath, you will see that we're doing uh, two AGBR, which is a compound, right? It's actually two, uh, two of those. And it's gonna yield two AG separate from the BR2. So this is taking a big component and breaking it down into simpler components. Let's look at our next one. Single replacement. You will also hear this as single displacement sometimes. Uh, it's a single element replaces an element in another compound. So we're just looking for one movement to happen to be replaced. So let's look at our crocs. So we're going to start off again with our blue and pink pair. And we're going to add into the mix a green one now. And what that's going to do is it's going to yield an exchange. Okay, so we're going to keep the pink one. We're going to add the green one in now and we're going to kick the blue one to the side, okay? So the blue one is now going to be separate instead of the green. So if you look at this, chemically, we started with SNCl2, and that's going to be our compound, and we were adding zinc to it, and we're going to yield. Now the zinc is with chlorine, right? We formed a new compound, and we're going to add um, our tin, separate. Okay, tin has now been pulled apart. It's no longer part of the compound. So essentially what we've done is we've replaced our tin with zinc. Do you all see that right here? Zinc is now in our compound. Tin uh, is now off to the side. It used to be zinc. Now it's tin off to the side. So let's go ahead and look at our next one. Double replacement. Uh, you can also hear of this as double displacement as well. It's ionic components in two compounds exchanged to form two completely new compounds. So we're looking to form compounds here. And that's the really big difference between the single and the double, okay? And the double, we're forming two new compounds. So let's take a look at the Crocs. So we can have our pair that we started out with, the blue and the pink, and we're gonna add a yellow and a green but we're gonna yield two new compounds. So we have to have two different styles, right? So the blue is now gonna be with the green and the pink is now gonna be with the yellow. So this is like two different ways that we can mix those around to form something new, a new compound. So if you look at the chemical uh, equation down below, you will see it says Na2S. And so this goes um, right along with it, our blue and our pink, right? So this is one compound and we're going to add it to the yellow, um, which is the 2HCl. Cl is going to be the green and we're going to yield an exchange. So what's really happening here is we are going to exchange out our S sulfur and we're going to exchange that with Cl chlorine and it's going to form two new complete compounds um, on our product side. 
So now we end up with 2 in ACL plus H2S. And you can see that very simply with just the way it's color coded, right? The blue one stayed where it is. We've exchanged our green out for our pink. So we swapped them and we've kept the yellow exactly where it was. So I hope this was helpful, you guys, and just learning the basics about these types of equations and being able to identify them quick and easily. Thanks, everybody. If you all found this video helpful, please go ahead and like it and subscribe to see all the new videos I'm posting on Science Explained. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you all next time.